What's up, you crazy potty people? So today is part two of my previous empties because it was way too long and massive to include everything in one video. So today we're talking about the makeup, Korean skincare, and a few miscellaneous items that we didn't talk about in the first one. So bada boom, bada bing, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with some Korean skincare products. As I said in the first one, I wanted to start doing like my separate Korean skincare empties instead of putting it into these, you know, generalized empties videos, but yeah, that last one I did didn't get a lot of views. So yeah, you guys kind of suck. <laughs> Just kidding, it's okay. But I mean, I am kind of hurt by it. So the first thing I have is this Innisfree Dewy Glow Toner with Juju Cherry Blossom. I don't know if it's Juju or Juju, Ju it's something. First off, Dewy Glowy Toner. It did neither of those things. It did not make my skin look dewy or glowy. It literally did nothing. And it's so heavily scented. I don't know if it's natural or artificial, but it just smells like a big old cherry flower. Probably probably a cherry blossom, most likely. It just smells so fake. It just it smells like medicine. I don't like the smell of it at all, but yeah. It says it delivers abundant hydration to dry and dull skin for a moist and revitalized look. See, I really wanted to look moist, but I didn't get that from this. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Korean skincare products. Like, I'm obsessed with Korean skincare, but this ain't about it. So next up we have the Innisfree Green Tea Seed Serum. So it says double squeezed green tea and green tea seed from the Jeju Islands. Jeju, once again, wish I could pronounce stuff. Everyone acts like the, the green tea line is really good for people with oily skin for the most part. And I do have oily skin, but this was okay. Like it just, it wasn't one of those products that made my skin super, super hydrated or super glowy or super dewy. It was just a good basic serum and that's about it. It didn't feel heavy. It wasn't like sticky or tacky feeling. It just sank right in. Like it was a, it's a very, very thin serum. So, I mean, it's, it's highly rated on you know, yes style and everywhere else. But for me, I just, I want something just a little bit more. And then I have the, oh, another name I can't pronounce. Iunic, Iunic, I don't know. I'll let you try to figure it out. This is the Tea Tree Relief Serum. So it says powerful relief, natural moisturizing, soothing care, and it's brightening and wrinkle care. I really, really liked this whenever I first started using it. Like I I was like, oh my God, this, this is, this is, this is it. The more I used it, the more I kind of became like, bland and kind of neutral to it like it's it's good and i do feel like it did give me a little bit of a glow but i mean never say never but i probably wouldn't repurchase this again like i'm just i, I just started using serums within the past couple of years so i've got a long way to go i, I want to try a lot more and then this thing i I need to repurchase this. This is the Dear Claire Soft Airy UV Essence with SPF 50 with four pluses. This is the best sunscreen I've ever tried. For the face, obviously. I mean, you don't want to be putting this little tiny bottle all over your body and stuff. Like, you'd use it up in 5.6 days. So this is a fantastic everyday hydrating sunscreen. This is one of those sunscreens that with this, I don't need to apply an extra moisturizer. So it kind of kills two birds with one stone, you know, saves me from having to do multiple steps and it leaves no white cast, no ashiness. It sinks right in, it absorbs so quickly. Definitely top five Korean skincare products I've tried. I think that's it for Korean skincare. I mean, I thought I used up a lot more than that, but still that that's several products. Like to use up several skincare products in a matter of just a few months, I'm pretty proud of myself. So I do have maybe one or two hair products. So I talked about the majority of my hair products in the first video in the part one. So I'm gonna link it up here or up here in a card. Just check out part one. But this is the Maria Nila Invisidry Shampoo. So it's free from sulfates and parabens, which, okay, rant. I hate when products say that they're free of something that normally they wouldn't have anyway. Dry shampoos don't normally have sulfates because they don't lather. Like <laughs> there's no lathering agent in dry shampoo so it's just like oh we're free of this and we're we're a good a good brand a good line it's like you wouldn't have that anyway like you're stupid i hated this so much like this did absolutely nothing for my hair as far as like, absorbing oil then i have the matrix total results so silver color obsessed shampoo and it's to neutralize yellow because it's purple and whatnot but this didn't really do a whole lot of toning for me and I, i'm someone that does suffer from very yellow brassy hair and this just didn't really touch it a whole lot like it may have helped just a little bit but for the most part it just kind of cleansed my hair so yeah i like a lot of matrix products but this i won't be repurchasing so i do have a few declutter items so i'll go ahead and talk about those next first thing i have is this body ecology moisturizing body cream like this is brand spanking new I'm done buying body lotions. I'm just one of those people that I just, I never apply lotion. It's an inconvenience. I, I just don't. But I do like Body Ecology as a brand and I do like their body creams and their body washes as well. But I just, I don't know, I'm just, 
I'm, I'm over it. And then I have like a miscellaneous item. I'm decluttering this as well. This is like a self tanner sponge and it's honestly kind of purposeless. Like there may be an actual good purpose for this, but I don't know what it is. Like I would kind of use it to go over spots. Like once I was done applying it with a mitt, I'd go over the spots where like, like my elbows, my elbow pit, you know, places where you, you're bending and stuff and it kind of, it, it, it can get some splotchy issues real fast. But I mean, this is kind of useless in my opinion. Okay, so now it's time to move on to some makeup and I've never used up this much makeup. This is, this is a big deal for me. So the first thing I have is this L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. So I like the effect that this gives, but I don't like how much it flakes on me. Like this is just one of those that it flakes so bad. Like I cannot layer this up. And also the packaging of it was so wonky and ridiculous. It's not doing it now, obviously, because I want it to, but it was one of those that like the sifter would come out with the wand all the time. And like, it would be like goopy and like, it, it's just so messy. Like you'd have to kind of like, you know, push it in there real good and then pull it out and see. And then it may still be on there and then just, you know, rinse and repeat. And then I have another L'Oreal mascara. So this is the Voluminous Carbon Black mascara. So I just don't get the hype in this. Like this is one of the most popular mascaras on the market. Like Mario de Devonovic, what was his name? Mario de Devonovic, Mary, Mario de Devonovic. <laughs> it's good for layering, but I don't know. Like there's just so much better on the market now. I mean, it doesn't flake or anything, so that's a plus. But yeah, this is like the third time I've tried this and I, I really try to give it a shot, but I'm just not impressed by it. Then I have the Rimmel Wonderlux Volume Mascara. So I'm pretty sure this isn't even like fully empty. Maybe it is. I think it dried out really fast actually. Yeah, that's what it was. So it is empty. It just wasn't very long lasting, but yeah, it has a slight curve to it. It was okay. Like they sent this to me a while back. Like it's just mediocre. And like there are so many products out there and I have so many products in my collection that are amazing that I just, I can't do no mediocre. Then I have a Morphe sponge. So I have a couple of qualms with this. Like I have mixed feelings on this because I think I've tried two, maybe three over a period of time. And there was one that I tried that was really nice and soft and squishy and had no problems with it. And then there was one that felt like an absolute rock. I think it was this one. Like it just, it feels like you're beating your face with a brick. I do like the shape of it. Like I really like the cut. Number one, I'm just, I don't want to support Morphe. And also I just, you know, it's a gamble. Like you're, you're spending $8 on a sponge that may or may not be a block of cement. But yeah, I probably won't repurchase that. And then I have another Morphe tool. So I, I very rarely ever actually declutter brushes, but this is so old that it's time. But this is one of the Badger powder brushes and I use this for bronzer. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that I bought this in my first Morphe order like back in 2015 or 2016. But this has been very, very well loved. Like if they still sold these, I would break down and buy it because this was such a good brush. Like I don't know why they get rid of good stuff. Like another bad business move on Morphe's part. Then I have Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. I think it's my third too. But there was a time when I used this religiously and I would put this in my brows first and then go in my brow pencil or powder or whatever. But I just, like I still use brow gels, but I don't use them as much. And I think I just kind of got tired of using this. Like I just want to switch it up. And right now I'm really into tinted brow gels. So this is good. It gives you a nice like light to medium hold and it doesn't make your brows feel crunchy and it doesn't make your forehead and your brows feel like really stiff. Like you can't move them. Like you just got Botox or something, but it's good. It's really cheap. Um, I just probably won't be <laughs> what? Probably won't be repurchasing it for a while. And then this is a declutter item. So this is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. So it's still relatively full. I just don't like this. I tried it like so many times here recently, like trying to figure out, maybe I need to apply it with this moisturizer or this primer or do it with this tool. I just, I just don't like it. Then I have a couple of cushion foundations from some Korean brands. So this is the Sonam Park Ultimate Cover Cushion, which I never really used a whole lot because the color was always really, really off. Like it was just really, really pale. And it gave me more of like a light, like a very, very sheer light to medium coverage. But I personally re wouldn't repurchase this. It is pretty pricey, I think. And for the coverage, I just don't think it's worth it. And then I have the Moonshot Micro Setting Fit Cushion. So another Korean cushion foundation. And I remember this one being pretty good. Like I remember it giving me pretty decent coverage. Like it was very buildable, but it gave me like a glowy finish without making me greasy and shiny throughout the day. So I did like it, but once again, Probably won't repurchase it just because, yeah, you're getting like half the amount of what you get in a normal bottle of foundation. But what I plan on doing is actually cleaning these out and reusing them because I, I've seen some tutorials of how you can clean these out, like wash the cushion and stuff and put your own foundations in there, put your own skincare products in. I've even seen people put sunscreens into cushion compacts and use that to reapply their sunscreen throughout the day. So I would like to try that, but yeah, probably won't repurchase this. Then I have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And once again, just didn't do anything for me. It's just, 
It gave me the coverage that I wanted and it looked good at first, but it just creased throughout the day. It looks kind of powdery and dry under my eyes. So yeah, again, it was one of those products that I try to use consistently just to try to use it up, but I didn't enjoy it. And I had my trusty Aquaphor, which I use as a lip balm because I'm addicted. This is literally the size of hand cream. Like the little tiny tubes of Aquaphor that are supposed to be made for your lips, like they're like two or three dollars. This is like three or four dollars and it's I don't know, probably like 10 times the amount. I'm okay with packing this big kahuna size around because it saves me some money. And then I have the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. So this is a very, very popular one as well. And everyone compares this to Better Than Sex from Too Faced, which it is. Like it's a dead on dupe. It's probably better than Too Faced in my opinion. This is one of those that for me, it only looked good without eyeshadow and eye makeup on. Like if I was just putting on some mascara and going, then it looked really, really good. Like my lash would be really thick and full and just amazing. But with like a full eye look going on, it just, my lashes would get lost and it just didn't really do anything for me in that department. I'm pretty sure if I layered it too much, like if I went over one layer, it flaked. I have another Aquaphor healing ointment because my lips are so ratchet and dry. So I'm getting rid of this matte cream blend blush in the shade Lady Blush, which is a stupid name, but this is just a cream blush. I got this so long ago. Like I actually think I stole this from my mom. Like eight years ago, nine years ago. Oh my God, I am so old. This is a really, really pretty color. And I don't think Mac makes these anymore. Like the only reason I'm throwing this away is because it's just old, but the color is so pretty. Like it's a really, really pretty neutral rose and it's just perfect for every day. I'm trying to get rid of products that I can't actually showcase in videos because so, this is discontinued, so I can't, but I love this formula. And then I have the Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. I love this thing so much. It's just like Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's really no different. I will repurchase this. Then I have a little trial size of the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Shadow in the shade Kitten Karma, which I'm pretty sure used to be their most popular shade. Yeah, it's just like a basic rose gold kind of coppery bronze shade. It has silver glitter in it, but it's so, so pretty. I love the liquid shadows from Stila. So yeah, highly recommend the shade, but these little trial sizes, I think I found this for like $9 on Mercari. It's a, it's a little pricey, but just, it was a good way to try it. And then I have the Show Lash Lash Serum, which is kind of hard to say, but I did a video in collaboration with them a while back and I really, really enjoy this stuff. I'm actually still working on my other tube. I think this is like my, I think I'm on my second or third tube of this. If you're consistent with it, it is so effective. I was kind of leery about lash serums in the beginning because like, I just feel like anything that close to your eyes just, it just leaves too much room for irritation and whatnot. But this, it actually feels like water going on. It just, it feels like nothing. And it just absorbs and sinks in so quickly. And I noticed dramatic results with this. So yeah, I'm still using this. And then I'm so sad about this product because this is one of my favorite cream or liquid bronzers and it's discontinued. I don't know why. This is the Maybelline Dream Bronze BB Balm. Such a pretty color. It lasts all day. And it's just, it, oh, it just, it works into your skin so naturally and so beautifully. And it just gives you the most beautiful bronze glow. Yeah, if they were to come out with these again, I would jump on it. Like this is so, so good. Then I have a lip liner from NYX that's literally bit the dust. Like I've sharpened it so much that it's, it's non-existent. But this is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Los Angeles, which is one of my favorite shades of all time. It's so universal. And I feel like it's one of those shades and tones that you don't really think about using. Like it definitely is probably more geared towards people with a darker skin tone because it's like a taupey gray plumish kind of color. But this is so perfect with any kind of nude, any kind of pink, mauve, berry, whatever like it's just so versatile and you wouldn't think that it would be like it's just it seems like one of those that would be way too dark in contrasting with a nude but like it mm, it's good you need to try it so that is it for part two of my massive empties i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up to let me know and subscribe to my channel turn notification bell on to always see my videos and my posts and check your bell settings and make sure that it's set to all and not just some so that you see everything i post and i'll see you guys in the next one Mwah.